closing of Blue Whale in the fall of 2020 was devastating to the music community in Los Angeles. So many artists had performed there over the 11 years it was in existence. So many audiences had listened to music there and enjoyed the artistic offerings of not only the Los Angeles community, but an international community. Owner June Lee gave us something very special, and we all hope he comes back to Los Angeles to do it again and work his magic. I can't believe I played there on the opening weekend of 2009, and it was a very new venue, of course, but uh, very fresh and different. Um, cement walls, kind of weird block cubes for seats. It had a gallery feel. In fact, it was a gallery. Uh, he had rotating photography and artistic um, contributions from local artists uh, displayed there. And I thought to myself, wow, this is a unique venue. I wonder where this is going to go. There was no piano yet. I was playing June's keyboard, actually. And I just remember thinking, this is exciting. There's something here. I really feel that there's never been a space that is the Blue Whale's equivalent in Los Angeles. Right. Just in terms of, of June's commitment to really making it a space that was about the music. June is one of those rare people that sort of made that space feel about the community. It wasn't even about him. I mean, obviously he made some choices. You know, he had that beautiful rooming that you could read above you um, and sort of made the space really inviting, but you never felt his ego there at all. It was always about the music. People were really invested in this family, this community, this center for creativity in a way that I have never seen or felt before. And I think June's selflessness with, with keeping this club together and creating this scene his approach to the whole thing where he really did all of that out of his good heart and was happy to do it kind of behind the scenes you know he really created something that you know it's it's like a magnet it was a very artistic place i mean you came in and you knew that it was it was uh, about creativity and and uh, expression you know they were always super memorable gigs. Though. I know. And that, that's just the little, you know, so there was this mix of like these one-offs and then these like big event sort of gigs. I felt like it kind of was a, a, a space that could like bridge those two things. It was like the before, almost performing arts center type like concert to just the like bar, like jazz club, late night, just like let's just throw down some tunes kind of thing. It's like really was able to do both of those. Blue Whale was an amazing place for community. Um, it was definitely my favorite place to listen to music and to play music. One of my personal favorite memories at the Blue Whale was part of Josh Nelson's discovery project. There's a magical feeling <laughs> after a whale show when totally. you know, you're just hanging and like half the audience are like other musicians, and those who aren't musicians are like friends. It's just a really close, special, heartfelt vibe that he managed to create there that I've just not seen any place else. There are lots of cool venues in LA and all kinds of awesome artists, obviously, but there was just something special and magnificent about that space. And I feel super lucky to have been a part of, of the story of what went on in there. 
I have hope. And I think I even feel it for sure that it will be opened up with the same people who are playing there because it's a home, it's a family, and you can destroy that, you know, that four walls can be changed, but the people and the energy, it will come back. It's in the universe, you know, the energy doesn't go, doesn't get lost. In an already difficult, creative um, landscape, yep. we had this one lighthouse in the darkness protecting us from crashing our ships on the rock. Actually kind of a monumental loss because yeah. of that. The drive of that location and that club was come do your thing. Right. Please come do your thing. That's what we want. That's all right. we're asking. Do that. This first volume of Live at Blue Whale features some of my favorite musicians from two separate Discovery Project shows, one from 2018 and one from 2019, where we explored many different themes, ranging from Oumuamua, a mysterious space object, Peter Sellers, one of my favorite actors, our electromagnetic hearts, and the double helix DNA structure of life. I'll never forget those magical nights that I was able to share my vision with the wonderful people of Los Angeles at our wonderful Blue Whale. So this is a love letter to that wonderful venue. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much, June Lee, for your vision. I hope you enjoy Live at Blue Whale, Volume 1. <laughs>